Hello, dear students. Uh, now we will start uh, our new story, the dog newspaper. Okay, and from the title we can see that uh, there is a relationship between dog or dogs and the newspaper. And also from the illustration we can see what, uh, a dog holding uh, a newspaper. Later, when we start reading the story, we will see what is the relationship between the dog and the newspaper, and uh, what is the story about. Okay. Now, before start uh, reading the story also, let's identify the genre. What is the genre of our story? It's an autobiography. Autobiography means that uh, someone is writing a story about himself or herself. So, when you are the writer and you are writing a story about yourself, about your own life, about something happened with you. So, what we call this story an autobiography. Since you are writing a story about yourself, so you are the main character and you are the narrator of this story, which means that the story has first point of view. Okay, so our story is an autobiography. And uh, the autobiographies usually are true and real stories that happened in real life, okay? So from uh, here, we can see that this story is written by Pig Carrot, okay? So our main character is Pig, and this is Pig, okay? She is the writer <clears throat> of this story, and she wrote this story about herself when she was a kid. Later, we will see what is the relationship between her and the dog and the newspaper, okay? So mainly here, we will uh, see that our story, the dog newspaper, is an autobiography. Autobiography means that a story written by someone about himself or herself and the point of view in this story or in this kind of genre is <clears throat> first point of view okay now when someone writes a story just i want to give you extra information when someone writes a story about someone else not about himself about someone else about others we call it biography okay we call it biography and it has third point of view but when someone is writing a story about himself or about herself about his, their own lives so we call it autobiography and it has first point of view okay now before we go on in the story let's identify what are the skills that we are going to learn in our story now mainly we are going to learn about fact and opinion. What do I mean by fact and what do I mean by opinion? Now, fact means a real information. Someone that, uh, sorry, something that can't change. It's a fact. Like, for example, uh, apple is a fruit. This is fact. You can't change it. Okay. Uh, everyone say this uh, statement or everyone say this uh, uh, this information so it's a fact uh, let's say another fact that we take english classes in the school this is a fact you can't change it so it's a real information it's a fact okay but opinion uh, it expresses someone's feelings beliefs or thoughts about things okay for example uh, my opinion uh, my beliefs my thoughts my feelings about something it uh, differ from uh, other people let's say for example i love english but maybe uh, someone else uh, doesn't love uh, or like english so this is opinion it differs from one to another okay uh, i like to eat fruits uh, after lunch maybe someone else say i like to eat fruits after dinner so this is also an opinion it depends on what uh, we love or hate it depends on our feelings it depends on our thoughts or ideas or beliefs so this is opinion and it changed that's why it changed from one to another okay so the fact uh, it's a real information that can't change uh, <clears throat> and the uh, opinion uh, it's something that can change from one person to another okay we have other skill that we are going to learn also in our story just a quick review here. Our uh, story is the dog newspaper. The genre is an autobiography. 
someone writes a story about him or herself. It has first point of view. We are going to learn about facts and uh, opinions. Uh, facts, it's a real information that can't change, but opinions, uh, persons, beliefs, thoughts, and uh, feelings about things. Examples of facts, let's say, my career is a teacher. It's a fact. I can't change it, okay? Uh, this story is an autobiography. This story is an autobiography. It's a fact. We can't change it. But opinion, let's say, I love teaching. Uh, this story is nice. My opinion about this story that it's nice. Maybe someone else will say that. No, it's not nice. So it's an opinion because uh, it can change. The other skill that we are going to learn in our story is main idea and details. What do I mean by main idea? Main idea, it means the most important sentence in the paragraph. The most important sentence in the paragraph. Details, the sentences that support the main idea. The sentences that support the main idea, that give more information about the main idea, okay? Uh, sometimes we may have uh, one main idea for the whole page in the story. Sometimes we may have one main idea for each paragraph. It depends on the information uh, that we uh, read about, okay? Let's take this example. I got a new coat. It has a blue hood and red sleeves. My coat is fuzzy, so I stay very warm. The zipper of my coat is green. On the back, there is a picture of a snowman. So, the whole paragraph is talking about what? That I got a new coat. So, where is the main idea here? This is the main idea. Okay? This is the main sentence in our paragraph. So, this is the main idea. The main sentence in the paragraph okay so what about the other sentences like it has blue hood and red sleeves my coat is my coat is fuzzy so i stay warm the zipper is green and it has a picture of a snowman all of these are details so all of these are details okay because they are supporting the main idea they give extra information about the main idea so always the main idea come uh, comes before the details the details uh, come later to support and give more information about the main idea so these are the skills that we are going to concentrate in our story again facts and opinion fact uh, it's a real information that can't change opinion it's an information that can change from one person to another and also we are going to learn about main idea and supporting details for this main idea for each paragraph and again the the genre of our story is an autobiography when someone writes a story about himself or herself using first point of view. And again, as we said, since you are the writer of this story, your own story, so you are the main character, so it has first point of view. In our story, who is uh, the writer? Pig, carrot, and she is the main character and she is writing a story about herself. Now let's read the essential question. What do facts and opinions contribute to a story? Which means that, what's the meaning of the word contribute? It means give or add. So what the facts and opinions can add to a story? So again, because it's an autobiography, so it's a real story. So it has a lot of facts. And besides the writer's opinions about uh, a lot of things happened with him or with her, okay? Now, let's see how the facts and opinions uh, are important in the autobiography and what the facts and opinion will contribute or add or give to the story, okay? Now, let's start reading the story about our main character, Pig, okay? I began my writing career at the age of 10 when I wrote and sold the dog newspaper. This weekly publication, which cost five cents a copy, reported on the local dogs. Okay, so our uh, story again 
uh, is written by pig. So I here, the pronoun refers to the narrator, our main character, pig. She is writing the story about herself. And she, starting, she started writing what? Or telling us what? That she started her writing career, which means that she is a writer, at age 10. When she was a kid, okay? When she was a little girl, okay? And uh, she started writing a dog newspaper. She started writing a newspaper and she called it the dog newspaper. This weekly publication, as we said, publication means the printed uh, products like newspapers, magazines, books, and so on. Now, her newspaper that she called it the dog newspaper, it was... Uh, published weekly which means once a week every week okay not every day and she sold it for just five cents a copy okay and she was uh, reporting and uh, writing about the local dogs the dogs in her neighborhood okay Again, as we said that the story has first point of view because the narrator is the character, is the main character in our story and she's writing a story about her own life. Now, she is she is uh, a writer and she started writing when she was 10 years old. She started writing a newspaper and she called it the dog newspaper because she is writing about the local dogs in her neighborhood. Okay, and her publication was just published weekly, once a week, every week, okay? I interviewed every neighbor, neighbor who had a dog. What exciting thing has your dog done? I asked. People responded, All Fluffy does is eat, sleep, and bark at the mailman. Or Max's only excitement is his daily walk on the leash. Such answers did not lead to important news stories. I didn't give up. If your dog could talk, I asked, what do you think he would say? Feed me was the most common answer followed by let's play. Okay, so she wanted to write information about dogs. So she uh, preferred to make interviews with the neighbors who have uh, dogs to ask them about their dogs some questions about their dogs and according to their answers she will make her reports about the dogs so interview means when you meet someone to ask questions so she started interviewing the neighbors who had dogs uh, the questions like what exciting things has your dog done uh, now some of them said all fluffy does is eat sleep uh, bark at the mailman the postman who bring the mails and the posts and the letters. Uh, some of them uh, said that Max's only excitement is uh, the daily walk on the leash uh, with the chain. Fluffy, here you see Fluffy, Max. Uh, these are the, the names of the dogs, okay? So she got a lot of answers for her questions. And also she asked, if your dog is talking, what do you think the dog will say? Some of them said, feed me. Some of them said, let's play, okay? But still... Uh, in her opinion that this answer will not make an, an important news or it will not be, make uh, some, something exciting in her newspaper. Okay. Now, you see here, this is uh, Peg when she was uh, 10 years old. She started writing notes when she was interviewing uh, the neighbors uh, about their dogs. Okay. Now, uh, what could a writer do with such boring material? Oh, she was talking to herself that she got boring answers about the dogs. And she thought that if she's going to write a report in her newspaper about the dogs in the neighborhood, such information like this, she said that the newspaper will be boring. Her articles or her reports are, are going to be boring, not exciting. Material, she means the information that she got from the neighbors. The solution sat at my feet, wagging his tail. What's the meaning of this sentence? Now, actually, Pig has a dog. Okay, Pig has a dog. Okay, now she thought that maybe her dog is going to make the excited 
or the exciting, sorry, information in her newspaper. That's why she said the solution of her, the solution of her uh, problem, let's say that this was a very simple problem that she wants exciting uh, information, sat at my feet. Her dog was sitting at her feet, wagging his tail. So here it means that her dog was the best dog to write about him in her newspaper. The first issue of the dog newspaper featured my dog BJ. So what's the meaning of the word here issue, which means the first copy. It means the first copy of her dog newspaper, of her newspaper that uh, she called it the dog newspaper, featured my dog B BJ which means that she used her dog, BJ, for her first uh, copy and to write about him in her newspaper. On the entire front page, she put also his picture in the front page, okay? Although his life at that time was as uneventful as the lives, the lives of the other neighborhood dogs, BJ had a unique background. Now, she said that, her dog has uneventful life like other like other dogs in the neighborhood okay but he has something special in his background in his uh, life before okay unique means special and as we said background means events happened in the past so now bj is living with her he has uh, uneventful life, normal life like other dogs in the neighborhood. But she's going to write about his past life. Let's see what she's going to write about his past life, okay? Uncle Bill, my mother's younger brother, was a soldier in the U.S. Army during World War II. So, here she's talking about her uncle long ago, her uncle, her uncle Bill, uh, her mother's brother, a younger brother, was an, a soldier in the army in World War II. While in Germany, his unit went into a town that had recently been bombed. As they searched for survivors in a destroyed building, they came across a mother dog and her litter of puppies. The mother dog was dead, so we were so were all the puppies except one. Now, uh, the American army was in Germany in in World War II, and her uncle and his unit, part of the army. Uh, were in a town that uh, got uh, pumped and exploded uh, during the uh, war. And they were searching for survivors under the destruction, under the destroyed buildings. Uh, while they were searching for lives, they uh, found a mother puppy, a mother dog, sorry, with her puppies. Okay, a mother dog with her puppies. Now, letter of puppies, which means group of puppies. And here, letter, it's a collective noun, which means group of puppies. Now, the mother did, uh, sadly, was dead. And also, all the puppies were dead except one. So, except one dog was alive. Now, the soldiers who had seen far too much of death and destruction carefully lifted that little brown dog from his litter mates. Uh, uh, one soldier tucked the puppy inside his jacket to keep him warm. The men fed him from their own food supplies, shared water from their canteens, and decided to keep him as the company mascot. Now, they decided, the soldiers decided to take this puppy to take care of him from uh, uh, under the destruction of the building, and uh, they carefully lifted him and picked him up. Okay, and uh, from between his letter mates from the other puppies that are dead. Okay, one soldier tucked the puppy inside his jacket like this. You see, put him inside the jacket because he's a little puppy and they were, uh, it was weak and they want to take care of him. So the soldiers put, uh, T uh, took this puppy, took care of him, gave him food and water, and the puppy became uh, their company, 
uh, like the, uh, the puppy became uh, uh, their partner in the army and they considered him as the company mascot. What's the meaning of the company mascot? The thing that will bring them the good luck. So they consider this puppy as the thing that will give them the or the bring them the good luck. Okay. Now, uh, from then on, uh, wherever Uncle Bill and his uh, comrades went, the dog went too. They named him BJ because he was a big job to take care of, especially when they were fighting a war. So, uh, as we said that this dog became their partner and their uh, co uh, companion wherever they go, in the uh, during the war, uh, and they called him BJ. It's an abbreviation for big job because it was really a big job to take care of him in this hard situation during the fight. BJ grew bigger and stronger as he traveled with the soldiers, tagging along on every mission and somehow surviving even when the men were too busy to pay attention to him. So, BJ grew bigger and bigger and stronger in, uh, uh, in the war with them. And even they were suffering a lot during the fight. Uh, he was... Uh, uh, joining them in all the missions and uh, even when the soldiers were very uh, busy to take care of him but still he was uh, alive and uh, he was strong to take care also of himself with the other soldiers as the soldiers fought to protect the free world bj did his duty oh so the dog has a duty, has responsibilities to do, has a job to do in the war with the soldiers. He slept with them in foxholes. Uh, he uh, trudged long miles across burned and barren land. He helped search rubble for signs of life. Most of all, he offered love and laughter to a group of lonely, weary men who were far from home. So as the soldiers has an important job in the war, also BJ had an important duty and job and responsibility in the war. He slept with the uh, soldiers in the foxhole. Uh, the foxholes are like... Uh, uh, holes that the in the ground that the soldiers were hiding during the uh, war and the fight he trudged long miles across ba uh, burned and barren lands also he was walking with them trudged long it means he walked for a long distances with the soldiers even in barren and, uh, and burned lands barren which means dried like desert and arid lands he didn't uh, get tired or uh, he didn't uh, leave the soldiers alone. He helped also the soldiers to find any lives when they were searching for uh, lives. So he was helping to find lives in the ruins between damages, rubble like destruction. Rubble means destruction. And also beside this help, he added love and laughter to these soldiers who felt lonely and tired, weary, uh, far away from their homes. So, BJ added nice atmosphere for the soldiers during uh, the hard uh, circumstances and situations uh, during the war. So, BJ uh, is a pig's dog. She got it from her uncle who found the dog during the war in Germany. Now, they are in Germany, okay? And actually, Pig is in America. Now, later, we will see how Uncle uh, Bill got uh, BJ with them from Germany to America and how uh, BJ became Pig's dog because actually, it's Bill's uh, dog, okay? We will see this uh, later, inshallah. Okay, thank you.